Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Northern Ireland have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compact. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. And we're underway. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. He's just about unbeatable in every department, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's totally dominant in the air. Hits one! It's their first effort on goal. Memphis Depay reacted so well to bring that ball under control. Looked easy, too. The room. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Early ball. But there gets it away. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. He's left his man. And it's McNair. Good challenge, he just stood firm. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Hoists it forward. Lafferty, Steve Davis, over to the left, tries to swing it, real chance, oh just lacked a decent finish, do I really need to tell you Peter that he has to do better, especially from there. The room. Fine album. Well, that's where he wants it. Forward it goes. Gets it back. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And Dyke. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Northern Ireland head to the dressing room, not having broken through. Tight cagey game. Not the team any further forward than they were when they started out. Already up and running for the second half. 
Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Johnny Evans drives it forward. And it's the road. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. But there. It's being played forward. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Time to deliver. And he's going long. Keeper's ball. Bubble. Memphis to pie. Barbell goes looking. The Netherlands showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Lafferty looks to get on the end of this. Timely intervention. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And here's to pie, Barbell. And that's been leave it clear. And that's that. Oh, a frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge. Has finished goalless. Your reflections then, Jim.